Okay, here's a few things uh, I've had requested uh, information on how to operate uh, the calculator and the program. A few things that people aren't, aren't sure on. So, the first thing is how to get the device ID number, which I asked for when you order the program. This can be done by pressing F1 and then A for about and this will bring up as you can see ID 082 B5 space 038 CO space 58 F8 sorry F870 that's the ID serial ID of the this cal particular calculator this is what I need in order to program the, the uh, sheet metal software to work on your calculator so that's the first thing I'm going to show you. <clears throat> Secondly, some people install the program to the calculator. All the files are on there, but they can't access the program. So let's press escape. And this is how you access a program. I'll just clear that. This line, these two lines at the bottom of the screen, this is what I call the command line. This is where you input the command that will run the program. Now in this case it's going to be my name, or my nickname, because my uh, surname has too many letters for the program. So you can see on screen there, Steve, backslash, Robbo, open bracket, close bracket. This is important or else the program won't, won't run. So there's two ways of doing that. If you know what the command is, you can simply type it in from the keyboard. If you don't know what the command is, then we need to go to the var link screen. Second and minus brings up the var link screen. Then by scrolling down or using the shortcut there, the green key and down, I can go to the bottom. And I can see that my uh, the, the command that will run my program is Steve Robo. Steve is the main folder, and then Robo is the subfolder which houses the uh, the program. In your particular case, it might be, uh, instead of Steve, it might be David, Michael, whatever. And then, usually, the second name, uh, when I've got Robbo, usually that will be your surname. So, uh, sometimes, as I say, I have to uh, alter that from your surname to either a nickname or a shortened version, because I think I'm limited to something like uh, seven characters for the name. So, we, sh we scroll down until that surname or nickname is highlighted in black you can see it's highlighted at the bottom if I press enter then that reverts to the home screen it's important that we're on the home screen to be in with or else this won't work so that's put my name Steve backslash Robbo with an open bracket symbol now to complete the process all I do is press the close bracket so that's now inserted on the command line and then press enter and as you see the program loads so from then you can use the up and down buttons to select the program you want or indeed I think uh, you can access the particular program if it's got a number adjacent to it press that number that take you directly into the program if it's got a letter like these later ones have pressing that letter will take you directly into the program so that, that's the second thing that uh, one of the things I mostly get asked from people who are struggling to run the program. So there's two ways to access a program. To exit the program I can simply press X and go back to the home screen. Now I'll clear that once again. Instead of going to the var link screen or if you can't remember the, uh, uh, what your particular name is, uh, your program name I should say, command line, there'll be a history on screen now this might be loads of calculations or whatever in this case the only history on screen is where I've pressed the roll so with the the command line empty on the home screen you can simply use the scroll buttons to go up until it's highlighted and this might be even off the off the screen it might be way way up if you've done a load of calculations as long as it's in that history somewhere you can just scroll up to select to press enter that'll place it on the command line Pressing enter again will take you directly into the program. So that's the, the second way. I say I, 
I try to deter people from entering the Valink screen if possible because you can do some damage in there. Uh, one guy contacted me recently, he said he'd unlocked all these uh, programs here, all these files. You can see the little symbol at the side, that tells you the program's archived. They're archived for a reason. They're archived A, to save memory and uh, B, to stop people deleting or altering them accidentally. So please don't go into there and start messing about because you, you really can do some damage and then you'll be phoning me up or emailing me and saying you need to get it backed up. Okay, that, that's about it for now and uh, if you have any more problems, anything I can help you with, remember I'm always there, email or call me if you've got my mobile number and uh, I'll do my best to help.